hey, it's no surprise to anybody that the housing market is getting really, really weird right now. But how weird is it getting? And what can we do about it if we can? Stick around for a moment. I'll show you everything that's going on in the market and I'll let you be the judge. If we haven't met before, my name is Eric Hudson and I'm a real estate agent here in the Las Vegas area. And everyday great folks like you reach out to me by call, text, or email. And if you need any help, just reach out because we have somebody who's gonna be right there ready to help you out. So the question is, is the housing market slowing down? Well, uh, yeah, I don't wanna be the one to lie to you. I'll be honest, for months and months, as far as the housing market goes, as far as the seller side, I was rosy as can be. And of course, if you look back at my videos, I've said that I was really afraid there was gonna be a backlash and that backlash is here. And let's just start going through the numbers, pure and simple, so we see what's going on and you have the latest information. Well, let's just start looking at the numbers. So the day of this recording is August 12th and I wanna see what the numbers are doing myself. Let's go ahead and look at the numbers for single family housing and of course condos and townhomes and compare that to where we've been and hopefully see where we're going. Okay, so let's start looking at uh, what we have on the market first so we can kind of see where our inventory stands. So I'm gonna keep this uh, down to all of Southern Nevada because uh, that's where the uh, board statistics come from. So let's go ahead with it. So if we look right now, we can see we have 10,140 homes on the market. A week ago, this was a little over 9,000, about 9,200. So we have added over 900 new homes to the market. Let's start breaking this down a little bit more. So now we're gonna break this down by types of homes. So let's just start with everyone's favorite, single family residential. And let's see how many we have in the market right now. Right now, the median list price is 509,900. Average list price is 732. And there are now 8,000 homes on the market. Not too long ago, this number was closer to 2,000. So we've almost quadrupled the number of houses available on the market. Now we go to condos and townhomes. Right now we have 1,782 available and a median price of 290 for both and 342 511 for the average respectively. Now let's see what the actual closed sales are. So if I go in here and I'm going to go back to my single family, I'm going to change this active to sold. And let's see what's sold to date. Then we'll start comparing it to the other months. So for single family homes, uh, 652 sold. I want you to keep that number in the back of your mind. We're keeping the 652 in mind. Let's look at the results. So for now, we're going to stick with the median because that's considered the most accurate measure uh, because, you know, we have multi-million dollar homes and everything here in Las Vegas. But so far this month, the median close price has been $450,000. Let's go back to, oh, let's say what we got um, last month. So last month, which was July, now here's a number to start looking at also. We said it was 652 sales so far. Look at the number of sales last month for the entire month, 2067. So we're almost halfway through the month and we're still gonna be short on the number of homes sold. Now we go in, last month, the median close price was $465,000. So, so far, the first two weeks almost of the month, we're 15,000 down on the median price. Let's try to compare this against the month prior. So let's look at the numbers for June.
Oh, look at that. 2676 sold. Let's go ahead and look at these results. And median price was 480. So in two months, the median price of a home here in Las Vegas has decreased by $30,000. No wonder so many uh, sellers are starting to run scared. Let's start looking again here. Let's uh, look at our condos and townhomes. Let's go in the opposite direction. We'll start back with June. Let's see where we were. 738 sold in June with a median close price of 280. Okay, let's go ahead and see what happened in July. Let's look at the month of July. So we're kind of going into the future now. 607, 738 month prior. And let's, let's look at this median price here and we get 270. So it's down, but we still haven't come to this month yet. It's gonna be surprising. Let's see what happens. Actually, I don't know. I'm about to find out myself to the month of August to date, 215. So if we double it a little bit, it's gonna be about four something, let's say five. We're still down from the number of sales month prior. Let's look at the stats so far this month. Remember it was 280. It is now 275 so far this month. So another $5,000. Prices have started to come down because the market was so overheated that people were just bidding these prices up. I'm not gonna lie, it's what you had to do just three, four months ago. You had to pay you know, 30, 40,000 over. Then we started getting all of the sellers coming in and now they're all disappointed that they didn't get 30,000 over like their neighbors. So a lot of them overlisted their houses and we're starting to have massive numbers of decreases in prices. So like, let's look, take a look here. Now we're just gonna look at the stats over the last seven days. So over the last seven days, we had 1,338 houses come on the market, which believe it or not, is about what it's been for about the last month, about that number, give or take a few. And look at this, 612 homes sold. Now, without doing a great deal of math, you can see that the sales are less than the new listings. In other words, more new listings are coming on than the market can absorb. So this is leading to a massive number of price decreases. So in the last seven days, there were 2,019 price decreases, which is almost 50% more price decreases than homes came on the market. Darn near the number sold plus the number under, that came under contract is almost what we had come on the market. The market is being flooded right now with sellers who want to get out while they can. And because of this, it's causing massive issues. I can't lie, I've had to cut down the price of two of my properties massively over this week. And to be honest, nobody's still uh, trying to come see them. Now, one property we saw made no sense uh, in one of the neighborhoods that I have a property in. Uh, first of all, nobody else's house is being seen and one person threw his house on the market for a fire sale price, which is going to destroy all of the housing in that neighborhood. One of the reasons we think they did it, because I'm in contact with some other realtors, is they're trying to stave off a foreclosure because the house is under threat of foreclosure and things just look a little too strange with it. Same uh, brokerage listed the house, same brokerage representing the buyer and the time it came on the market to the time it was uh, under contract was 10 minutes. So that seems fishy. Problem is he's destroying the value of everyone else in that neighborhood. So this is what's going on. We have dual fright. The buyers are frightened to make a mistake because prices are coming down and the sellers are afraid they're gonna miss the top of the market. Some people 
are two, three, four hundred thousand dollars up from just a few years ago, especially if you bought your house back in 2012, which was the bottom of the market. Some of these guys, I mean, they're up triple the amount they paid and they don't want to lose it. So they're dumping their stuff on the market right now. Uh, if you're a seller, do not overprice for any reason whatsoever. This logic uh, that some people have, uh, I want to price a little bit high because I can always come down. Yeah, that's not really working. Buyers, use this opportunity. Find that house you've been uh, looking for. It's a good possibility to go ahead and get into it without a bidding war. Because at some point, things may break in the opposite direction. We seem to be doing like um, army math here. Left, right, left, right. And we just keep switching between. And we're not even hitting a nice balanced market the way we should. I wish it just comes to a balanced market where the proper number of listings are coming on the market. The buyers are out there. And, of course, for interest rates to go down. Other tips, of course, for my sellers, uh, interest rates. You can buy down your interest rate. Oh, also, now that 50% of sellers are now giving seller concessions, a.k.a. paying for closing costs, I picked this one up today. I never, ever knew this. Certain things you can use those uh, seller concessions for. I do that. Anything that you pay for as a buyer that comes out of your bank account, not a credit card, you can use for seller concessions. So little things like your appraisal. Yes, you have to pay your appraisal up front. But if you put it on a debit card and not a credit card, you can be reimbursed for that from the seller. Whoa, interesting. So that's your little tidbit for today. And I hope you're enjoying these videos. Again, if you're looking to make a real estate move here in the Las Vegas area, just call, text, or email us, and we'll get back to you as soon as humanly possible. And also, if you've received just a little bit of value today, we would appreciate a subscription. And of course, watch another video, because that's how the YouTube algorithm works. And today, I'm not going to say it makes a puppy happy, because he goes to the vet tomorrow. And I'm sure he's not going to be happy.